Hello everyone. I am glad for the opportunity to share the wonderful webinar today. In this webinar, we will discuss about the new features which are available for Bold Reports version 5.2 release. In report, we were introducing brand new layout, report performance metrics, shared catchy support. We have included rest themes in report weaver and designer, custom attribute, XML based report editing and saving, block storage for Kubernetes, Angular IVY support, support for .NET 7. Now let's discuss one by one in details. We have introducing a brand new layout for Report Weaver with a fresh and modern look. Its leak designed perfectly aligns with the latest web trends. In top, we have floating toolbar for quicker access and navigations. Also, dialogues are available in the right side sidebar. Not only can you seamlessly integrate it into your projects, but you also have the preferences to customize its appearance to match your app styles, ensuring harmonic user experience. Personalize your report's page setup effortlessly. Tyler measurements, paper sizes, margins, and orientation to your precise needs. These enhancements grants you greater freedom and accuracy in crafting reports that align with your vision. Take control of your export with our powerful new export setup features. Easily configure common export options for heightened security, whether it's PDF, Word documents, HTML, CSV, or PowerPoint files. Exporting your reports is now more streamlined than ever. Coming to next, we added report performance metric feature. It helps you to understand how well your reports are working. These features show you important things like how quickly your reports load, how fast they appear on the screen, and how efficiently they handle data. By keeping eye on these numbers, you can make your reports for better users. This means they will get to see their information faster and have a smoother experience. In this sample, you can see the report processing time is less than 2 seconds, data set processing time is less than 2 seconds, and the data retrieval time is 50 milliseconds. Think about it like this. You can now check how fast your reports are open so you, your users won't have to wait long for their data. And with the rendering speed number, you can be sure your report show up quickly. These features majorly helped while designing the report for users can able to see the performance and the data processing time. So based on that, now users can modify the reports in their needs. It's making users happily and engaged. Say hello to the new loading indicator in the report viewer. It makes viewing reports smoother and more responsive. Now your reports load seamlessly and quickly, ensuring a hassle-free and enjoyable experience. Now I will show the demo for the above shared features. And this is our report viewer brand new layout. In the top, we have floating toolbar. In the floating toolbar, we can Go for go for next and previous page options here, and also zoom out and zoom in options here, and we can refresh the report and export page options and print the report options. Also in the right side sidebar, we have export setup dialogs and page setup dialogs. In the performance metrics, we can able to see the report processing time is two seconds and the data set processing time is less than two seconds. Introducing Report Shared Cache, a game changer for Linux, Kubernetes, and Azure hosting. The Shared Cache is a valuable feature that streamlines the scaling process of your applications. It achieves this by storing the data related to processing reports within a Shared Cache. This Cache serves as a centralized repository accessible by multiple instances of your application. As a result, when your application encounters increased usage, such as during periods of heavy traffic or high demand, the shared catches plays a pivotal role in maintaining consistent performance level. Under typical circumstances, heavy loads on your applications might slow down the report processing due to increased data set request and computations. However, with the shared catchy in a place, the report processing data is ready, readily available in the catchy, eliminating the need for each individual application instance to retrieve and process the same data separately. 
This optimizes performance by reducing the strain on individual instances and significantly speeding up report browsing times. The shared cache essentially acts as a performance enhancing buffer, allowing your application to efficiently handle user requests without experiencing significant slowdowns or bottlenecks. You can integrate this support into your existing application easily and also control your expiration and catching strategies in your applications. It ensures your applications run smoothly even during high traffic times by storing report data in a shared cache. This means consistent performance and a happy users. By adding the highlighted element entry in config XML, we can enable the cache storage support and this config XML file is available on the mentioned C drive locations. Now I have configured it for my local file system. So in the config file XML, under the report viewer features, I have added the cache storage element for the provider I have mentioned to file for since my report server under on file system for the item types I have mentioned it for report. And in the C drive, we have folder for bold service. Under this folder, we have app data and under this we have reporting folder and under the viewer service folder, we have report cache. Here only all the caches file will be created and stored it in here. Now I will go to open the report server. I'm going to open the any report on the report server. The report is processing. So once the report has been loaded, the catchy file will be created automatically on the catchy file location. If we have modified anything on this report, the same catchy file will be only modified in here. The report is processing, so please wait a while. Now, if we close the report on the report server, the created catchy JSON file will be deleted from automatically on the catchy file location. Now let's discuss about the fresh theme updates. Choose your style. Our reporting tools now offers various theme to match your applications look and feel. From light and bright to dark and sleek, you can tailor the design to resonate with your users. Here, some of the styles you can pick from. One that looks light and bright like Bootstrap. Another one that's darker and more dramatic like Bootstrap dark. A light and stylish option like Fluent. A dark and sleek choice like Fluent dark. Lastly, a modern and cool design like Tailwind. You can choose the style you like to most to make your reporting tool match your applications look and feel. Here you can see the bootstrap light and dark theme images for report designer. And this is for the report viewer. And here you can see the fluent light and dark theme image for report designer. And this is for the report viewer. And last, you can see the Tailwind light and dark theme Im images for report designer. And this is for the report viewer. Here you can see the differentiation code blocks for existing version V2 support. We are excited to introduce custom attributes. This features lets you create special attributes for your reports. You can even add your own code to queries and save unique setup for your reports. This customization gives your reports a whole new level of flexibility and power. And this is the syntax for adding the custom attributes. Use custom attributes to define dynamic filter condition based on user preference. For example, users can set specific conditions like filtering names or filtering date ranges or product categories as custom attributes, allowing them to filter reports with personalized logic. Now let's see how to apply the custom attributes for the reports. I'm going to open the report server. Then I'm going to take the territory sales report. So the report is processing. Please wait while for the report loading. Now the territory sales details, it shows the all the countries territory sales details in the reports. So before if we want to filter particular country de territory details means we have to edit the designer then we need to apply the filter on the query designer panel. 
now we can easily filter the particular country by adding the custom attributes so for that in the user management page we have an option for attributes so now i'm going to add the attribute for the territory sales report for the attribute name i'm going to mention territory in the value field i'm going to mention name in canada which means i'm going to filter only the canada report the name is the field value of the report i'm going to save the attribute now i am going to apply the attribute with the territory sales reports i am going to click on the edit report icon so the report is loaded on the designer in the data sets page i am going to edit the data set here i am going to add the custom attribute now i'm going to run the query it retrieve only the canada country details data now i'm going to click on the finish button then i'm going to publish the report the report has been published successfully now i'm going to refresh the reports the report is processing so please wait a while see now the canada country territory sales details only shown on the report and let's consider about the another one example in the report server we have more than 15 plus reports each report we have image logo in header section usually we add the image in header and then we will apply the image data via external or embedded or database the same process we have to do it for the 15 plus reports too but now now we can easily apply the data value for the image for all the reports in the user management page already i have added one attribute for logo i am going to edit that attribute for the attribute name i have mentioned the logo in the value field i have mentioned the logo value url i am going to save the attribute now i am going to apply the logo attribute for the report for that i am going to choose the product line sales report the report is processing so please wait a while now i'm going to click on the edit report i have added the image widget in the header in the settings icon we have property panel in the property panel in the source tab i'm going to choose external in the value field i'm going to add the attribute value the attribute name is logo so i'm added the attribute then i'm going to review the report the report is processing so please wait a while now the logo is rendered on the header section so by applying the custom attributes the report size will be reduced it empowers user with a flexible and personalized approach to reporting enabling them to achieve advanced data manipulation and customizing more meaningful insights also we have an option to create custom attributes for groups for that we have to go for the groups i'm going to choose the system administration group here we have attributes tab and also we can add the attributes for the groups so group of users also can add the attributes for the reports now let's dive into the next features xml based report editing now you can edit reports directly using xml code this advanced features allows you to fine tune structure layout and content ensuring reports are tailored to your exact specification save your customized reports in xml format for easy version management now i will show the demo for the report for that i'm going to take the territory sales report because we have added the custom attributes for the reports now i am going to remove that custom attributes by editing the xml in the more option we have an edit as xml option i am going to click on this 
in the top we have search icon now i am going to search the attribute name and the command is available on the command text element so i am going to remove that attribute then i am going to click on the publish button so the report has been published successfully now i am going to refresh the report the report is processing so please wait a while for report loading now the territory sales of the all the country details has been shown in the report now we'll discuss about the next feature we have made it possible to use blob storage for kubernetes deployment blob storage separates report server resources into a different storage place making it easier to handle unorganized data this is crucial when making updates or changes as it is simplifies resource management and guarantees a smooth experience here you can see the blob storage startup screen when users upgrade or move their kubernetes setup to some other provider they won't need to be concerned about resources this allows user to maintain resources in the blob storage separate from the kubernetes applications coming to next feature we have provided ivy support into our angular reporting components marking a pivotal moment in our commitment to enhancing your reporting experience we have harnessed this cutting edge technology to elevate our reporting functionalities are you ready to experience dive into the realm of ivy supported angular reporting components and unlock a world of accelerated insights and interactivity and this is our demo sample applications which is integrated on with angular ivy support component and it's available in our demo site let's discuss about the next feature we are thrilled to present the fresh ui for the reporting tools you can explore this new interface in the asp.net core use case sample browser by clicking the try it new button located on the top banner now i will show the demo for asp.net core sample browser and this is the our existing asp.net core sample browser in the top banner we have try it now option i am going to click on the try it now and this is the our new interface asp.net core use case sample browser and last our newly provided .net 7.0 support across the report designer weaver and writer means you can create and customize reports with cutting edge technology this enhancements reflects our dedication to staying current and providing top notch performance giving you the power to take your data insight to the next level and this is the our sample weaver applications which is integrated on .net 7.0 framework thanks everyone this is all our five new release updates 